Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. It's not that one. Yeah, they're bringing them down over here. Got a few of them being brought down to there. We've got, I mean, we do have cable harness being made elsewhere. So I could, rather than turning this into cable harness and using up silver for that... I could just go and have that from somewhere else. And in this chest here, in the, in the warehouse, we've got 15,000 silver in there. And then I've got these two full of silver as well. So, it, I mean, I don't have a shortage of silver. And that would be... I, th I think we'll make it here. I think we'll make it here. We'll, we'll, we'll bring that cable harness coming out through here. It's not going to take very long to fill that one up. So I'm just going to have a line coming out and then going underneath here so i'll bring that one up a little bit like that and i'll stretch it all the way over as far as it will go i don't have any transport belts so i need to go and just get a quick refill on those because we've now run out so it's been a couple of weeks since i've been doing any recording well since i posted videos it's actually been nearly a month since i actually recorded anything um I was originally going to be finishing this series up on the uh, last day of this, uh, well, the last day of the year. It's, it's still this year for me. Um, time has advanced a little bit more for you before you see this video. But, yeah, because I had COVID and then I ended up taking a little bit of time off, I wasn't able to post the two weeks. So I'm still going to do the two weeks. So there's two more weeks of videos still to go. So you've got six videos left. I'm hoping that we will still be able to do what I originally set out to do. Well, not the original purpose of the entire series. Unfortunately, that isn't going to be happening. We already know that. Uh, but what I would like to do is at least unlock the ability to... Ooh. There's a lot of aliens here. They're getting closer and closer to the gun turrets. It's the only gun turrets we've got. Leviathan Spitter. Oh, there is so much here. There's some nasty stuff in town. There is some really nasty stuff around here. Anyway, um, what I was hoping to be able to do is unlock the... Um, the turrets, the gun turrets. If we can get the gun turrets unlocked in the two weeks that we've got left, that would be absolutely fantastic. The artillery turrets. And that way we can start doing long-range bombarding of the island. So I figured that was kind of a, a good point to try and get up to. Um, I thought that would be an excellent po uh, time to kind of like finish up the series. So to just get to that point and then we'll stop. Uh, down through here, so what are we using? We use liquid rubber for this, and then it makes those. I'm thinking for these, we will actually upgrade these machines. I can upgrade to them, because I don't have the enhancement blocks at the moment, although that would be pretty good. What is that? That's crafting speed 2. This is 1.25. Let me go and see. Enhancement blocks. Have we got enhancement blocks? being made like are they able to be made some of these blocks are able to be made not all of them some of them this is the enhancement blocks over here let's go and have a look well, i haven't got any gone out there uh oh they're waiting on the silver servo motors enhancement block two coming in uh, i mean the enhancement block two is is, is not going to be a problem that is on its way over and then we've got the electronics block so some of these are already being made. We've got energy blocks there. They're being made at the moment. And they're going to be using the silver servo ones. So, I mean, kind of need to... We'll, we'll change these over to red ones at least. We can't, we can't make the blue ones. We, we can't do the blue ones yet. We've got the other materials, but I can't make the enhancement blocks. So, we'll upgrade these to red ones like that and i'm also going to add in another red one if i can uh don't know if i don't know if i put in an orange one and then change it uh, a yellow one uh i don't know that i can i mean i've got the other materials for it 
Could certainly change these. Let's make another five of them. There, yeah, change those over like that. The wire over here, I'm not going to worry about changing that over, but changing these over will ensure that we definitely have enough of that coming in. Uh, it's the liquid rubber. It's getting the liquid rubber over and, well, underneath this belt right here in order to be able to transport it across. But I think what we can do is if I was to do that and that, it's still, it's still able to take it off of that belt. I'll get rid of that silver wire there, and I get rid of some of that, and the silver cable harnesses that I'm holding, I'll hold on to them for a minute. I will, now I can get rid of that one and that one, and then I can change that to a regular copper pipe like that, and then I can put in a new one of these. We can change this and do that so that we have an underground belt going up through there. I can then put one of those out. I can put... One of those down there and then have the pickup just moved up onto that bit so that it comes in. And then I can have a pipe that will run down here. So then I copy and paste that recipe and join it round onto there. And then put some power in. And then I've got everything coming out onto here and I've got a fifth one on there. Right, so we've now got some research done. It won't be long before we're doing the next research, but we can't do the other bits yet. So we'll just, uh, let's pick one of these out. This manganese, zinc, nickel. Let's take the zinc one these would be nice we got the blue science analyzers now the teleportation thing let's see if we can do that i have got the blue science thing haven't i where's me sciencey science here it's requesting the blue ones i'm not making blue ones I should be making blue ones. I've got, I've got the I've got them over here. Why aren't we making? What have I missed? Oh, I was still doing that. Right. So I've got the harmonics analyzers. I need the orange science and I need the blue circuits. I haven't actually finished doing this. Why didn't I finish doing this? To be honest, I don't know. Right. That's going out and that's coming in. So I need to. That one down that way, and then that one down that way, that one that way. I don't remember why I didn't finish doing this, but I've now got the bits there, and I've got blue circuits here, and I've got orange analyzers right there, and then we're making blue analyzers here. I need a passive provider chest here. Put a small remote charging station so that can connect in. We want power for that. And I'm going to want... Put a caller robo box in there that will connect into the network. And then I bring the belt along. And I put those in there. So they are pick they've got them in there. They should be coming along to pick these up. Number of available robots. Oh, that's because this one doesn't have any power. You gotta have power through the system in order to be able to join it in. Right, so then if I go here, pick up 100. Okay, so now they're going to be on their way and they're going to pick them up. Got the harmonics ones. We've got all of these working. Everything seems to be working on there. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And this is now filled up completely with that extra one. That's also going to help things along nicely. So in order to make these, I need cabling, silver cable harness, and 
the shielding for the cabling we want three silver cable harnesses that makes four cabling or we go with gilded cable harness and i'm not going to do the gilded one i'm going to do that one so i will first up take one actually right what we'll do got an idea for this i put one of those in there and this is going to be angels the components Right there, we've got the different recipes, so we'll have that one. So I take three of those, and it becomes four of those. And then for the actual servo motor, I just need one. So for the servo motor, I need one. And I also need a silver cable harness as well, so the silver cable harness will have to move on round. I need to get the cable shielding on there as well. So I got cable shielding over on this side. That's coming up there. So what we'll do here is we will add that one in there like that. And I'm going to change this over. I'm going to put a filter on that. And it's going to have this one. And that's going to be on the right hand side like that. I will then put the belt the underground belt is going to go up there this one we get rid of and we go there like that I uh, can't actually do that can I no what I gotta do is I gotta do this one has got to be the filtered one and I put the harness on here we'll put that one on the right hand side this one here can't have a filter on it so I'm going to get rid of the filter on there. That one. Oops. No filter. There. That's what i got to do there. So I'll just pick everything up of that. So that will still allow both of those to go through there, but it'll also split off, and then it will split out, and we can take this one. That's why we can't have that. Fortunately, this is on the correct side. So all we got to do is bring that belt up there like that and join it in there. I'll go on to that side. I don't even need to put it onto that side. I can just have it turning in through like that. It goes onto the correct side. It goes all the way up round and it comes up to there. So then what we have is that will move along like that. And then coming out of there, I want two factories. I want one there and I want one there. I'll put one and two like that. And these here, these are going to be the servo motors. So I'll put one here and I'll paste that one in there. So that's going to feed that one and that one. And then I'll do the same again. This belt here, we will... Actually, we'll run that one on out a bit further, and then we'll, we'll bring it back round again. So, for now, what we'll do is we'll go and take a belt down here. And I'll run this belt that way, like that. And I'll just go here and here like this. And then I will go... Uh, do that in the middle, like that. And then there will be a belt that will go out that way. And that one will go in there like that. It's method to my madness, don't worry. Right, so we go copy in here. We copy from that belt. We take it up. We'll ignore the other belt for a minute. I want to bring that... That's exactly what I want to do. I want to have it exactly like that. Place that in there, and then I'll go over and I will do that again. Off go my little robots. And we'll do it once more. Got that one down there. Okay, so then we can have one that way one that way I need to put this one this one and this one to join all of those together then we need to put in power so I want one two three and four and then I want to put power in the middle of these down here like this and then we want to put them 
down here like that you need to go that way you'll come over here a little bit further and then we will put in one of those we will put in one of these we'll put in one two and we'll put in another power pole over there you aren't connected to anything so i'm gonna put in another one of those and that's going to connect that into the network so everything is in there exactly where it should be and then the only thing that i got left to do is bring this down here like it big wait what new new tips big spitter the entity big spitter makes its first appearance on this planet comes out of an elemental spitter spawner after they are evolved more than 40% evolution factor. When successfully eliminated, this native inhabitor will reward you with one to four alien artifacts. Have I had an alien spitter actually spit at me somewhere? I shouldn't have. I think I've just seen it turn up somewhere. That's all it will be. Is It's just turned up somewhere on one of these. And that's it. What have I got going on up here? Oh, they're, they're taking stuff up there. I've got robots down here who are coming out to all of this lot. Why have you got no power? Let's put a ghost print in there so that we can get some power. I don't have aliens running rampaging through my base, do I? Or if I did, I'd have red warnings on here. So no, I don't have aliens rampaging through the base. It did worry me for a minute. Okay. Where was I? Put that one in there. So that's going to run through. We've got the cables being made and then being dropped into there. And then the other materials are coming through. And then they're coming here into the servo motors. And then those are going to be picked up. And they're going to be taken off to, to the blocks to be used up down the bottom should keep everything running very nicely the only question is do we need to speed up the production a little bit I don't think we do I think we're gonna be alright like that I've got these ones being made over here that's actually doing very nicely I've got those blue ones they should be being brought down over here there we go oh wait a minute basic data core and those i'm bringing them into here but to be able to do the research I need to have them in here as well. That's a problem, isn't it? Yeah, I, I need to have them over there as well, not just in that one bit. I, I, yeah, that's, that's where I've gone wrong with this bit of research. Maybe I should do some different research. Let's go and have a look over here and see. I Maybe that's why I, I, I can't remember. It's been a while. Uh, I can't put them in here. I, I, oh, of course. Right. Okay. So I, I need to actually upgrade. I can't do the teleportation thing at the moment. I've got to have these upgrades. These right here, advanced exploration technology, that will then allow me to have the exploration ta uh, tech lab level two, which will allow me to use the blue science analyzers. Uh, so I can't do that yet, which means I can't do the teleportation thing. Well, that's fine. And I can't do the hover car either. It would be nice to have the hover car. Uh, so, in which case, we will just carry on over here. Electric energy distribution um, trains. Let's let's go down here. We go with advanced iron, lead, tin, steel casting. That could be handy. Silicon. Let's go with the advanced silicon. Start research. Okay, that one's actually doing some work now. There we go. So now. I've gotten a couple of stages ready. We've now done the silver servo motors over here. They're busy being made, which means that the blocks should all now be being made. I've got those blocks being made. 
These ones here we're waiting on. That's the warfare ones. They're not being made yet. These here, these are being made. we got the electronics level 3. And they've now started with the silver servo motors. This one in here is weapon parts, electronics 3, exploration 2. What are you waiting on? Silver servo motors. This one is electronics blocks 3, but we've got some of them. And this one over here is waiting on silver servo motors and some electronics block level 3. These are the ones that I wanted to be able to make the level 4 assembling machines. But that's alright. So I've got everything coming in that I need coming in apart from the warfare blocks. These down over here. So it's just the warfare blocks that we've got left. We need weapon level 3. So if we go into craft, no. If we click on here, we want weapon level 3, which is that one. Craft. To make that, I need a weapon body 3 and standard trigger, an explosion chamber, and a fluid chamber. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm already making explosion chambers and triggers. Because if we come back out of here... And I go to the level 2 weapons which we're making. I got triggers, I got explosion chambers, and I got weapon body 2. So let's first have a look in here and see if I've got them. Explosion. I don't have the explosion chamber being delivered anywhere. Trigger. The trigger is being delivered, but the explosion chamber isn't. So I need to go and find where I'm making the level 3, uh, the level 2 weapons, if I can find... There's the level 2 weapons. I'm making them direct down here. It's just a direct feed. So it's actually fairly easy, and then I'm bringing in the triggers. So we want to change that up to the level 3 ones. Craft. Weapon body 3 is just aluminium plate. That's really easy. The trigger, we can bring those in. The explosion chambers, they're really easy. There's just a steel plate, so we can just bring in some steel or make them down here even. Um, and belt the triggers over or something. So those two are really simple. The fluid chamber is just one aluminium plate. So if I get aluminium and steel being delivered, I can make the whole lot. Trigger is an iron plate. Iron... Aluminium, steel. If I just have those being delivered, I can make the weapon 3 on site. And I'll make it up here. I'll make the entire thing up here. So what I'll do is I'll get one requester chest, which I've got right there. And I will put that requester chest down there. So I want iron, one of the items. Go here, iron plates, right there. We'll request 1,000 iron plates. We will request 1,000 steel plates there. Because we've got loads of those. And we will request 1,000 aluminium plates as well. They're somewhere around here. So we've got all three of those going in onto that bit. So then what I want, I've got fast filter inserters right there. And I can use these. So we go one, two there, we'll go one, two there, and we'll go one, two there like that. So I have got a thousand of each of the plates that I've requested already on the way. That's nice and simple. I want to go and get some more factories. Gonna want several of those for making this next bit, so let me go and wander off and get those a minute. Alright, I have the factories that we will need, so I'm going to first up take the iron is gonna come out of this one. It's gonna go up there to the top of that line, it's gonna go to there. So these two are gonna be iron plate. Like that. These two here will be steel plate. And then these two down here are going to be the aluminium plates. That one on there. Copy that one out. Right, so that's 
those in there. So the first thing I want is I want to run a line along there like that. And then I want to have some of these. We'll go, let's line them up with the other ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll do six, I think, to start off with. We are going to want components. And this is going to be triggers right now. One is a half second craft time. So I really don't need to worry about spending very much time on this. Just put these along like that. There, and I'll put them out onto a belt. I'm not going to try doing anything more complex than that. And then I can just put these in here like this. Okay, so there's that bit, and we've got the triggers being placed out onto the line right there. Then... The next bit is the explosion chamber. Those two require aluminium to make the explosion chamber is steel plate. So we will do the same here. I'll bring that down to like that. I'll put six down here like this and I'll make explosion chambers. So run down here. Where are we with explosion? There we go. There's the explosion chamber and copy and paste all the way through like that I can then go and take this belt that's going to go down that way and run back to there this belt here is run on too far so I can go back like that and just to make this look a little better I'm going to do that yeah. Right, that makes it look a little bit more tidy. And then all I need to do is put those in there like that and put the outfeeds like that. So I want one more bit of belt to go there. And then power poles along there like that. So I've now got two lots of these in place. Just waiting on the iron to be delivered over here. There's the steel has just been brought in. Thousand steel has now just been brought in. So there's iron on its way over. It will be here soon. I'm going to actually change this over so that I've got 2,000 of each item. Just so that we've definitely got enough here in reserve to keep everything going. So that's two items being placed out. There's two items being placed onto this belt ready for manufacturing. I'm then going to want to go and build. So we'll... Where are we going to put this? I can put some stuff up there, I guess. Let's get rid of that one for a minute. And instead, I will have a construction zone expander up there. Put one here and one here like this. Yeah, that'll join them together. I mean, I guess I could actually just get rid of these all together. I don't need... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.